So on January the 29th, NVIDIA released their RTX line of laptops and it's without doubt they are charging a premium of about $400 to $500 compared to the outgoing GTX models. In order to keep temperatures down in a laptop, they reduce the TDP and the clock rates. And you'll notice that they also offer in the Max-Q variants 90 watt and 80 watts with their substantial clock decreases on the 80 watt parts. So last time I did a theoretical calculation on how the RTX laptops would perform. This time I decided to downclock my desktop 2080 to the levels of the notebook variant. So the uh, notebook 2080 at 1590 megahertz, the uh, 2080 Max Q, the 90 watt down to 1230 megahertz, and the 80 watt variant at uh, 1095 megahertz. And I wanted to kind of compare this to my GTX 1080 in my notebook and also the 1070 Max Q. Now the drivers I used for the same were 417.71. So let's take a look at the performance. I tested Shadow the Tomb Raider using the inbuilt benchmark 1080p DX12 highest settings. Top left we have the uh, 2080 Max Q 90 watt, to the right the 80 watt variant, and at the bottom the 1070 Max Q. And as you can see, that does scale quite nicely. There's definitely an improvement here. Switching to the notebook version of the 2080 against the notebook 1080, there's actually not that much difference. Compared to the 1070 Max Q, the 80 watt 2080 Max Q uh, was 14% faster, uh, which reduced down to 9% when it was uh, the 1070 was overclocked, and the 90 watt version was a nice 23% faster. I suspect the thin and light laptops like the Aero 15X or the Zephyrus S 15 inch will have the 80 watt version, and thicker notebooks are having the 90 watt. Either way, you're paying a good $500 to $700 premium for those chips. Far Cry 5 was tested using the inbuilt benchmark as well, and that was at uh, Ultra Settings 1080p. And actually, the 1070 Max Q bucked the trend here, performing similar to the 80 watt 2080. And uh, the uh, 2080 and 90 watt actually did perform slightly faster, but this certainly was a surprise. Overclock the 1070 Max Q, and you got a great performance here. The notebook GTX 1080 was in a league of its own here surpassing the 2080 quite easily. I suspect that uh, there'll have to be some driver updates here to uh, improve uh, the RTX performance on Far Cry 5. So here are the results and as you can see for all the RTX 2080 they're pretty close so there must be some driver issue going on here I suspect uh, but certainly the uh, GTX line performed very well. Now Battlefield 5. I tested this at uh, Ultra Settings 1080p using a big multiplayer Conquest map. And the uh, 2080 Max-Q, both 90 watt and 80 watt performed pretty well, certainly ahead of the GTX 1070 Max-Q. Of course, the frame rate jumps around quite a bit, but I measured it throughout uh, a whole map, and uh, this is a sequence of which I recorded. Switching to the big boys, the uh, RTX 2080 at uh, 1600 MHz and the Notebook GTX 1080, there's actually not that much difference between them. Perhaps a slight edge to the GTX 1080. So here are the results. The 80 watt 2080 Max Q performing 19% faster than the 1070 Max Q, reduced to 13% when uh, the 1070 is overclocked. Now, 90 watt 2080 Max Q, 22% uh, improvement, and that's 16% better when the 1070 is uh, overclocked. So that's not too bad at all. And as you can see, the 1080 and the 2080 are pretty close. PUBG was tested throughout a full match, and here it was using uh, 1080p ultra settings, and certainly the 2080 Max Q 90 watt held a nice advantage. Uh, the 80 watt uh, slightly behind that, and that was uh, slightly ahead, of course, of the 1070 Max Q. But certainly, when the 1070 Max Q is overclocked, that gap is closed, as you'll see in the upcoming graph here. So switching to the RTX 2080 uh, at 1600 megahertz and the uh, GTX 1080 in the notebook, there's actually not that much difference uh, between them. Very close. In fact, let's have a look at the graph. So the 2080 and the 1080 are neck and neck. Now going to the Max-Q versions, the uh, 90 watt one is 23% faster than the 1070 Max-Q and uh, the 80 watt 2080 max q about 13 percent however when you do overclock the 1070 max q that reduces to about four percent so you know it's pretty close considering the price difference of these two cards as well that's not bad 
So let's take a look at the summary then. So I do this uh, with Far Cry 5 and without Far Cry 5 with, with a suspected uh, driver issue going on there. So with Far Cry 5, the GTX 1080 was about 7% faster than the 2080. Now the RTX 2080 Max-Q 90 watt I was uh, averaged at 16% faster than the 1070 Max-Q. And of course, when that was overclocked, that was reduced to 12%. Now the 80 watt 2080 Max-Q, that was uh, on average 10% faster than the 1070 Max-Q, reducing down to 6% when overclocked. Now, without that Far Cry 5 result, the GTX 1080 and the RTX 2080 were neck and neck, pretty similar. And uh, looking at the 2080 Max-Q 90 watt, that was 21% faster than the 1070 Max-Q. And uh, the 80 watt 2080 Max-Q, 14%. Now, of course, those deficits were reduced when the 1070 is overclocked. But here's the big question, is price the performance? And I think, you know, the um, 2070 Max-Qs, the 90 watt version, will probably perform similar to the 1070 Max-Q here. And uh, the 80 watt one, perhaps even slightly below it. And, uh, you know, they're the same price as the 1070 Max-Qs. The 2080 Max-Qs, however, can uh, cost about 25 to 30% more, which may not be too bad if you know you're getting the 90 watt version, but if you're only getting the 80 watt version, then that is quite questionable. So then we have the RTX 2080 in the thicker laptops, the 17 inch ones, and uh, that actually performs bang on with the, uh, the 1080. So that is a questionable whether you want to upgrade to that really, unless you do need the ray tracing. Now much does depend on the TDP. And in fact, Alienware are pushing the M, uh, 51M to 180 watts and uh, that could well boost up higher, but still that's about four grand. I think the value one here is the GTX 1070 notebook. Those those prices are coming down. We're looking around about uh, fifteen hundred to sixteen hundred dollars, and your performance will be pretty much on par with the 20, 2080 Max Q 80 watt. So, what about the RTX 2060, which will probably be the most popular? You know, that will probably be about twenty percent uh, behind the 2080 Max Q 80 watt one, which will put it pretty much in between the current GTX 1060 and the 1070 Max-Q. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you are new to my channel, remember to subscribe because I do have quite a few RTX laptops coming in to review. Thanks for watching. Bye now.